You are watching Jayanti's Corner. So guys, today we are going to assemble this uh, Troten sliding door cabinet. And this is a white color. The main reason why I bought this is because uh, I need a lockable cabinet. And I search up in the internet and they said they showed this uh, suggestion so and the 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 measurement really really suits me so i said okay we'll have a try so just take note that there is two uh, packages for this uh, item the one and the two okay and this is a new product of ikea so it says on the internet that it is a steel uh, but let's have a look okay so the item number of this product is 604.747.60 and the size measurement is 80 cm width and 110 height in the dip of this as far as i know is 55 cm yeah it is a steel cabinet i can see it now so it is a hard thing to pull so what i'm gonna do is open up in the side so that we can uh, fully open the whole package Be careful handling with the cutter. Okay. So this cabinet is ideal for office. You know, if you want to lock important files or anything that you think it's valuable and you need to lock it. Uh, this would be a good uh, option. And we got the ruler guide here. Okay. All the screws in here and also the instruction. So let's put aside the box. And let's open the second box. <laughs> let's cut it on the side as well. So as I've said, just be careful with the cutter. It's better if you cut a part away from you. Okay. Because accidents happen anytime, anywhere. Okay, let's open it up. Oops. There you are. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is refer everything to the manual. So you have to, uh, we have to follow them step by step, so that you have a smooth and easy assembly of the product. In the manual, you will also see the number of contents of the screws and other tools or uh, parts that uh, is included in this package. So the first step in the assemble is put this screw in here in the bar. So on both sides. You will not get the mistake because the other one has no uh, something that could fit in the screw there. So just a hollow. All in all, you have four screws. So just put it on the other bar. And same on the other end.
So you just need to tighten it up and screw it until the very end. And this will serve as the leg of the cabinet. Next, we are going to assemble the bottom. If you notice, this is there is a sliding guide on the other uh, side. And then, on the other side, you will notice that there is some holes in the corner. And that would be the, the base of the cabinet. So now we are going to attach the legs. Just observe how I do it. This part will going to fit in this hole. So you just need to do it like this. Okay. And you can easily uh, put it without any uh, resistance so just bear in mind this is the leg and this is the base and on the other side you will see the uh, sliding guide okay so do the same on the other side you just need to turn this uh, upside down and we have to put the other leg okay so this is how it looks like okay so once you connected the legs you you will see a hole uh, in the bottom part and they have a tool provided to fix the screw so just do this on all four corners and tighten it up okay. so anyway the screw that you use to to connect the legs is this kind of screw the, the one with the hexagonal on the top okay so now I have already put the four Screws. So the next thing we need to do is lie it flat like this. So you can feel it's already sturdy after putting the screws. And the next thing that we need to do now is put the sides. So this is the side. You will notice that there is a thick elevation on this side compared to the other side. Okay. So this thick elevation will coincide with the ruler guide okay so this part if you can see it on the bottom you can see in the bottom it will be aligned with the protruding part of the leg okay and it will fit in like that and same on the other side so this will coincide with the sliding guide and just fit this in on the protruding part of the leg okay there should be no problem it's easy to push down if there is resistance just check and find out why there is a resistance but there should be no resistance at all so our two sides are up okay next is we're going to assemble the cover in the back so this is the two parts that we need to assemble so you will see this two parts with this kind of cut on the top and on the other side there's only this like a hook cut okay so the purpose of this is if you put one on the top of the other it will lock so if we're going to look at it closely and if we're going to 
align it very well okay this hook corresponds to the rectangular uh, cut and you need to bring this hook down to secure and make sure it will not get wobbly okay and on the side you will notice that there is like an extra uh, bent uh, part so that it will not fall uh, backward it will uh, prevent it from falling backward okay now let's assemble it so I'm just gonna put it here so the length is a bit uh, just enough so it's a bit tight so all I need to do is try to find ways how to fit it there you are so that's the first one so we have two uh, the one should be put on the top okay just take note that the top part should have this cuts okay and the bottom part should only have this cut okay no rectangular this will be the bottom now I'm going to put the top part and this should coincide with the, the bottom part okay there you are and now using this tool I'm going to push it down you see that and it will bend and it will secure the two connections so same on the other side okay align it properly and push the hook down and bend it okay after that we need to put the screw on the sides okay and there is a lotted hole for that you know you you will need a screwdriver okay so let's do that anyway the the screw that you will need is only the small screw okay it's a cross on the top so the screws are quite hard to push through so you just need to keep going and push it very well just to let you know because you might be wondering why it's so hard and you thought that if there's something wrong but actually it's meant to be like that so just do on the the eight holes there are four on the right side and four on the left side all in all eight okay as you can see I'm finding it hard to push okay you need to be you need to have a little bit of a strength in doing this finally I have put the eight screws okay I must say that it really uh, took all my energy and it's a bit of a hard work considering the position in the angle of the screwdriver as well so it's all in place now after putting together the the base the sides in the back now it's time to put the the top uh, cover this is our top cover you will see the rolling guide here on the side of the of the top cover you will notice some cuts like this okay and this will fit into the protruding guide of this uh, side on the top okay same on the other end so now let's put it like that just oops just be careful and this 
part here should be in the front where the ruler guide is, okay? And just try to fit in the guide. I'll show you. So just be gentle and slowly fit in those two. Same on the other side here. Okay. And if you're going to look it sideways, so there is an extra gap. Now we need to push this through. For some reason, there, is, there you go. Just need to push it through to align it properly. And you know that you have pushed it properly because the hole where the screw should go through is uh, properly aligned, okay? And you are able to put the screw in. And we are going to use this kind of screw. You will notice there's like a line in the middle. But you can use a crew, uh, cross kind of uh, screwdriver. And on the tip, that's a uh, flat, okay? So I noticed earlier the, screw, the, the two parts are not properly aligned. So there's a little bit of a steel that hinders the screw. So it's so difficult to push through. So if that happens, you need to make sure you align them properly before putting the screws, otherwise the screw will not go uh, through smoothly. There you go, it's better now because it's very well aligned. So do the same thing on the other side, okay? Here. I do. Now it's all done and dusted. Next is we're going to do our shelvings, okay? You will notice that here on the side, you will see some cuts. So this area is where basically we're going to put this part, okay? This will serve as the support of our shelving. Please note how we uh, assemble it okay so, so i will show you how you assemble this so just put it in the slot and it will support the shelving okay in putting this support it depends on how high is your shelvings you would like you know so it's entirely up to you it looks like in each level let's see how many centimeters so in looks like there's like six centimeters in uh in between them in this package they provide two shelves so it depends how you want to use it okay so for me i'm just going to show you I'm put it here or probably here and just make sure they they are level We put it this way because there's one shelvings here and another shelvings there, okay? Oh, so you do the same on the other side. Oh, how to, how to level them, make sure they are the same on the opposite side. So you just count one, two, three, and then the fourth, you put the supporter. Here, we have count one, two, three, and we'll put it in the port. Same in here, okay? So our shelvings is made up of two portions or two parts. So 
so these four shell wings have all the same shapes and size so you can change them interchangeably so you don't need to worry whether which one is which okay this is the tricky bit okay so the, i will put the one part of the shell wings so just just do it diagonally, diagonal okay like that so that it can go through into the the shell the partition and then slowly bringing it down like that okay so you will see that this corner fits and this is just a straight line here there's no cut or anything in the side just make sure they are on the same level diagonal when you put it okay so that it can go in the partition and then slowly flatten it like that oh so it worked pretty well so i need this top part to put all my uh, my machines and there i'll put whatever stationary or things that i needed so the bottom part of the shelving is a bit tricky as well because there's not enough space space to move around but anyway i didn't manage that so this is how my cabinet looks like now i put a lot of space at the top because of the machines that i'm going to use there are big machines so but don't worry this this is very adjustable you can see all those slots you can use those if you like and they you can change it anytime the final step is we need to install the door so please note we should install the right side first the one without the uh, key this is the two door that we are going to install in a minute so just as I've told you, the one that we need to do first is this door. And the last is the one with the key. And if we're going to turn around this door, you familiarize yourself with the parts, okay? You will see the, the top part, there is no ruler, okay? However, you will see this locking mechanism. These two, we will push it up later to lock the... the uh, the slide okay and on the bottom part you got the the wheel okay and this wheel will corresponds to the slide here in the front so we will assemble the right door make sure this handle is on the right and this stopper is on the left all you need to do is fit in the slide the ruler the, the, the ruler into the guide the back guide okay okay so you can see you can glide it easily so take note how do i do it and i'm going to make it stand straight so inside this is inside of the cabinet just make sure that this part will go in through in this second line okay it should be on the back same on the bottom now you have to push it up there you go and you will hear a click so you just must align it properly to fit through there you are so it's all in the same line and now they can stop the door from falling okay and it slides easily with no problem this is the last door we have the one with the key and i've been looking for the key actually it's in here so you might be wondering where it is as well so it's attached in the door and you can cut it with the cutter and secure it okay Don't don't lose your key or else you cannot open it or close it before we install the door we need to put this support i think so this should be opposite on the key uh, area 
So there should be in here, okay? Put it inside, inside of this. And then put it like this. And do the same on the bottom part. So this screw is also a bit tight. So you need a bit extra effort in putting this. Okay. The mechanism of putting this uh, last door is the same as the first one. Just to make sure you put it on the first slider, okay? Or the first sliding guide in this part here. So just align it. Using your imagination while you are here outside, just make sure that the guide will going to go through in the first slider okay and same when the other part there on the very end so you just need to push it up and you can hear click and it's all done there you go so our cabinet is done so let's try to open and close this so if on open Open on the other side. And I'm going to use this key to lock. So it's secured. You cannot open it. Here you are. Your valuables are safe. Thank you guys for watching until the end. So please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Also, you can visit us at www.jnccorner.com. See you again next time. Bye!